Welcome back. This is the video series of visual programming with Java using NetBeans. My name is Samer Audi, and in this lesson, I will show you the use of uh, more GUI components. Mainly, we will focus on radio buttons and checkboxes. But we will also see a container called the tabbed pane. Okay, let us go ahead and start. What we want to do is to create a new project desktop application and I will call it pizza application and the reason is we are building a pizza ordering system that I will explain in a second okay let me just make some changes here I should be able to see my working area okay so the idea is simple I want to create a pizza ordering uh, application where um, I would need to enter the customer's name, the customer's phone number, and then I would need to know what size of pizza they want. It can be small, medium, or large, and each size, of course, has its own price. And I also want to check what kind of toppings uh, the customer wants on their pizza for example olives uh, pepper mushrooms or meat okay so let us go ahead and build uh, the GUI I would need a label here and this is basically my customer name and I will change the variable name into customer label okay and I will use another label this would be phone number and I will change the variable name into phone label all right now I need text boxes or text fields I will go ahead and add a text box here and I will just resize it and I will empty the contents and I will also rename it and I will call it customer or just a little bit shorter cust text field okay and another text field that I will call a little bit shorter than this and get rid of this and rename the variable to phone text field all right uh, next I need to think about uh, what I'm doing. I am collecting some information, some input from the user. And uh, the first uh, piece of information would be the size of the pizza. So a pizza can either be small, medium, or large. And the best choice of input would be the radio button, simply because the radio button is a control uh, or an input control that allows you to make one choice only so if I choose small it cannot be medium or large if I choose medium it cannot be small or large and so on so a radio button sounds like a good uh, input for the size the second kind of information I'm collecting are the toppings and basically you can choose no extra toppings or you can choose one two three or all of them and the best choice of input would be a checkbox. Again, a checkbox is an input that allows you to enter uh, multiple selections. I can choose olives and pepper if I want. Okay, so this is the main difference between radio buttons and checkboxes. But uh, in order to put everything in here, I will use a nice container which is the tabbed pane. Basically, the tabbed pane 
allows me to let me just make it uh, this size yeah this looks fine the tab pane allows me to put many tabs they're like pages and every part can house uh, other controls so on the tab pane I will go ahead and add more panels and inside the panels I can put containers okay so what I will do first is to change the variable name and I will call it my choice tab pane okay and I will go ahead and put on it you see that it gets highlighted you see the way it gets highlighted meaning that it's gonna be put in it and instead of tab one I will call it what this is the size okay and I will rename this panel and I will call it the size panel okay I need one more panel okay oops all right looks better let me just put it back in here so the second tab is the toppings okay panel so basically I have those two tabs and each one will house um, its own controls in the size I'm gonna house a few radio buttons and in here I'm gonna house a few checkboxes all right what else I also need a button this button when I'm done choosing what I want I can go ahead and order so I'm gonna call it place order and basically what I want to see when I click this button is to calculate the total for my order okay I'm gonna change the variable name and call it my order button all right uh, I think I didn't change the variable name here and this will be the topping panel okay I'm ready to start putting in my controls so I'm gonna go ahead and put uh, three radio buttons here okay the first radio button I will call it um, small and I will put the price for a small is 20 dirhams okay I will also change the variable name into let's call them S M and L so small radio button medium and large okay I need another one that's gonna be my medium pizza and the price is 30 dirhams and I'm gonna go ahead and change it into the M radio button for medium and I also need let me just change the size a little bit okay here All right, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and add another radio button. Let me just move this a little bit down and I will. Okay, and well, let me just change 